I mentioned buffers and buffer solutions earlier. This is the bottom half of a titration curve where a strong base titrant is being added to a weak acid. Just before the end point, the added strong base doesn't seem to make a significant difference to the pH of the acid. This is because there is a weak conjugate acid-base pair that buffers the solution to resist changes in pH. Let's say, for example, the weak acid is hydrofluoric acid and the base is sodium hydroxide. I've omitted the sodium ion in the equation to limit clutter. What results is a buffer, a weak acid conjugate base pair that will resist change in pH when more hydroxide ions are added. Looking at the equation from Le Chatelier's point of view, an increase in hydroxide concentration will shift the equilibrium to the right, consuming the added hydroxide ions and producing more water. The compensation will only continue until the buffering capacity is reached and the further addition of hydroxide ions dramatically changes the pH of the system. So to summarize, a buffer solution is a weak acid conjugate base or weak base conjugate acid solution. As long as only moderate amounts of acid or base is added, the buffer solution will resist changes in pH. For example, if a liter of water has added to it 10 milliliters of 1 mole per liter hydrochloric acid solution, the pH would drop from 7 to 4. Add a buffer to the water and the pH would drop to only 6.9. So the buffer capacity is the amount of acid and base that can be added before a significant change in pH and this is dependent on the amount of conjugate acid base in the buffer solution. I strongly recommend you read the last few pages of this chapter in your text so you can learn some essential biochemistry of our body as it relates to acid-base systems. Your book discusses the body's buffer systems and their importance in pH balance in the blood. A pH rise or drop of 0.4 is life-threatening. Without buffers, even a glass of orange juice would be deadly. Just ordinary living potentially decreases our pH. Carbon dioxide produced during cellular respiration and not collected by our red blood cells mixes in the plasma with water producing carbonic acid, which in turn partially ionizes to produce hydronium ions. Fortunately, these hydronium ions combine with our body's buffer systems to resist the drop in pH, enabling us to exercise more and increase our rate of cellular respiration and eat and drink a wider variety of nutrients.